Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to use the clone tool in terms of uh, removing unwanted objects from photographs such as scratches or dust that you may find in photographs. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate this background layer. So I'm just going to do a Control J just to create a copy of it so I keep an original copy untouched underneath and work on this one, the duplicated copy above. The other thing that I want to do as well is I just want to uh, zoom in as well. So I'm just going to do a Control Plus just to zoom in and then use the spacebar just to move around to where I want to be. Okay, so let's go and pick up the clone tool. The clone tool is located here and it's uh, nested with a pattern stamp tool, but we just want the clone stamp tool. Now it brings up a brush. You can change the size of the brush using the square bracket key. So if you find the letter P on your keyboard to the right of that, you'll see two square bracket keys. The one furthest away makes the brush bigger and the one nearest them to the P makes it smaller so you can change the brush size. Now the way that this works is that you have to hold down the Alt key and you have to target an area where there is no damage. And it needs to be an area which is fairly close to where the damage has occurred. So if I Alt and then do one click with my mouse whilst the Alt key is held down, I have sampled this area as the good area. I now let go of the Alt key, let go of the mouse click and then come to the damage area and paint. And what you'll see is that where I sampled there's a cross. Uh, you can just see that very faintly. Whatever that cross passes over is cloned and copied into the circle brush area. Now that means you have to be quite careful. So if I come down here and the cross goes over that damaged area, it will clone that damaged area and you'll end up with two damaged spots. So you need to alt click to sample and move the cross where you want. You just alt click and then brush, alt click and then brush. And the idea to this is to sample lots of different areas. So it's constantly alt one click and then paint, alt one click and then paint. Just keep an eye on that cross, alt and click and one paint. Okay, so let's move to a, a more tricky area of the photograph. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna work on this scratch. I'm just gonna do control plus uh, just to zoom in a bit more. And control plus again. I think it might go in one, no, one, one less than that, control minus, there we go. So I'm just going to look at this scratch here. This scratch goes through di three different colour zones. So I'm just going to resize my brush using the square bracket keys. I'm going to alt click to sample in an area in this colour zone and then paint. So it's using the colour from there. And then I'm going to alt click and sample this colour zone and then paint just to fix that top edge there. And finally, I need to alt click to sample this hazy sort of in between color. So alt click and right on there. And then as I come and paint across, it should replace that. And you can see that I've repaired the scratch. Just to see before and after, there's before and after. So just taking the visibility of that layer on and off, you can see how the clone tool works. One thing that you don't want to do is sample up here, for example, and then come and paint down here because it's complete wrong color zone. So make sure you sample in the correct area and then you can use that. One good thing about the clone tool as well is that you can actually clone from one picture to another picture. So if I just do a control zero fit the screen, I'm just gonna come over here and uh, pick up one of my other images that I've got here. And I'm just gonna create a new layer for this as well. So I've got a new piece of paper, just clicking here to create a new layer. Come back to my old image. And what I can do here is I can do an alt and a click to sample on the forehead, come across this picture and then just paint. Now what it's doing is the cross is moving on this image and whatever it's moving over it's cloning onto this color image. So you can see I can create this kind of effect where I'm just cloning this guy's face onto here. So you can clone between photographs as well. Now the beauty of putting this on its own separate layer it means that I can move this face around. So if I get the move tool I can move it because it's on its own piece of paper. I can control T and resize it and transform it and rotate it and put it into position. So I'm going to do a spooky little thing here. I'm going to put that face there and of course because it's on its own layer I can reduce the opacity of it as well and create a kind of ghostly looking image in the background where there's a face coming just through on the image. So the clone tool is really neat in terms of you being able to do those kind of things. The other thing about, I like about the clone tool as well is that we see here in this image not all of these guys have got their carnations on. So this chap hasn't got one. Well again what I can do is if I create a new layer, come back to this layer, so the background layer, I can clone this carnation and place it onto here. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to pick up my clone tool again, come over here and sample. Now uh, the important thing here is that if I sample at the moment there's nothing on this layer so there's nothing to sample. What I want is to sample what's on the layer below but I want it to be cloned onto this layer. If 
for that to work I need to tell it to sample the current layer and below so it will pick up the uh, carnation on the layer below so here we go I'm gonna alt click to sample that and then I can come over here and paint whatever the cross goes on it paints the carnation there we go there's our carnation and because it's on some separate layer I can do a control T I can uh, make it a little bit smaller if I wanted to give it a slightly uh, different angle as well so it doesn't look like an exact duplicate of this one over here and you could go around and apply that to all of them so the clone tool is not just for taking out dust and scratches as we saw on this old image here but it's for cloning between images and cloning items within an image as well